Hello, and welcome to Dopey, the podcast about drugs, addiction, and dumb ass. And my name is Dave, and I'm a squirrel. Um, I've lost it. Thank mm-hmm. you. Today is March 11th, and our tagline of the day is good, orderly direction. And mm-hmm. I'm joined by Howie. Mm-hmm. What do you have to say for yourself? Begrudgingly join. You love this stuff. I do. I would and do I, these all day. Do you know I ha- I've only said the S word one time in the last three daily reflections. It's amazing. It's pretty good. Look at you. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Do you have any idea of what good orderly direction refers to? Uh, I'm imagining, you know, your, your moral compass is pointing in the right direction. It's the G O D God, good orderly direction. Oh, interesting. It is when we try to make our will conform with God's that we begin to use it rightly. To all of us, this was a most wonderful revelation. Mm-hmm. Our whole trouble had been the misuse of willpower. We had tri- Everyone is the same. Everyone is exactly the same. Every daily reflection? It's ponderous. Well, it's iterative. Ponderous. Got a little baby steps. Our whole trouble had been the misuse of willpower. We had tried to bombard our problems with it instead of attempting to bring it into agreement with God's intention for us. To make this increasingly possible is the purpose of AA's 12 Steps and Step 3 opens the door. All I have to do is look back at my past to see where my self-will has led me. I just don't know what's best for me, and I believe my higher power does. You're talking in uppercase. G-O-D, which I define as good orderly direction, has never let me down, but I have let myself down quite often. Hmm. Using my self-will in the situation usually has the same result as forcing the wrong piece into a jigsaw puzzle. Exhaustion and frustration. Step three opens the door to the rest of the program. When I ask God for guidance, I know that whatever happens is the best possible situation. Things are exactly as they are supposed to be, even if they aren't what I want or expect. God does do for me what I cannot do for myself if I let him. Um, See, I like good orderly direction. Um, I'll tell you, I had no conception of God, you know, when I Mm -hmm. got... I wanted God to be what God is now for me, which is that um, my God is somewhere between um, the God in Star Wars, the Force in Star Wars, Mm -hmm. and uh, the God in Rastafarianism. Okay. Like, it's somewhere between there. Like, the idea of a natural mystic blowing in the air and uh, the Force being the connection that runs through all things and creatures. But in the first place, when I was unsure of my higher power, my... It was my second or third sponsor said to me, do you have a a gift of desperation? How desperate are you to turn this around? And I was Hmm. utterly desperate. I was as desperate. We did that whole behind the dope Howie's house today. You saw how desperate I was. Behind Howie's house? Yeah. I got you. Okay. When we effed behind Howie's house. You have to have that fire in you. I'm saying for me, I had a gift of desperation, Mm -hmm. and I could use that gift of desperation as G-O-D, and I used that as God because I was as desperate as anything, and and that gift of desperation made me willing to make a decision to turn my life and will over to the care of a higher power. That's what it was, desperation. I've heard other people say G-O-D is group of drunks or group of drug addicts. I hear other people say it's the great outdoors. Like, it's everything. And good orderly direction, I think, is a great crib note for doing the next right thing. Yeah, it's, that is good. So, I like that. Um, what else did this thing say? That's about it. Basically, it's all about doing the next right thing. And I and I, I think God is all about doing the next right thing. That's it. Stay strong, Dopey Nation. Effing toodles for Chris. Toodles Thank for you, Chris. Howard. And that's my crazy daughter trying to get in. Mm-hmm. Down on the floor.